original Chevrolet AM radio, uh, these 46, 48 fleet lines, uh, style masters, I think they call them, master style. Uh, this one here, I think it's 46 where it's going in. And uh, these bezels are getting where you can't find them. Uh, they're trying to find somebody to make them, but this one here I have, we polished up. And it looks pretty good, and the only thing you're going to see is, is about this much of it anyhow. Repolished all the push buttons on it, and the knobs, and these are new uh, back knobs. And we've done a full Aurora design conversion. It's got a 6x9 200 watt DVC in it. Four channels, so you got two here, two more channels than you use. Got three outs on it. You want to add an amp to another set of speakers, even a sub. Uh, we had to take out quite a bit back here in the case. Need to show you that because he has uh, put in. Uh, we had to take that part out. He's got a new windshield wiper motor in that's taking up quite a bit of area. Of course, he's gone 12 volt. And, uh, but anyhow, we're going to demonstrate a little of it for him. That way he gets to know how to operate it because it does a lot of stuff now. Uh, it's AM FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. Get a male male cord with it. USB port. This is a USB drive. You put that in there, it's going to have a video on it, music. This will also charge your phone, your devices. Auxiliary in right there. Plug anything into it you want to. Uh, XM radio, satellite radio, uh, CD changers, anything you want to. And uh, Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice command, voice assistance. Uh, this radio will scan stations for you. Going down the road, you can let it find a station for you. Uh, in your toner, we had a toner switch. Most of these come with a toner switch. And uh, the switch was kind of in bad shape, so we took it out and we put a newer one in. It's now got a full rotating toner. So that's a, that's a plus. Toner switches are kind of hard to work for some people. How far can you see? You won't go to AM radio, of course. We, these, are, these are pretty cool. They're string driven, but these are, they don't have clutches in them. So if you want to change the channel, you can see it rotate. And then you can pop these out. There's a little rod that sticks out, and you can turn it to set up a preset. The gift of support. You dot. Won't go to AM radio. Just simply turn the unit off and right back on. And help you reduce your AM back taxes radio. by as much as eighty percent. That's right. right. Know where you're at at all times on AM and FM. This is called voice ID. You can get to it by turning the volume up three times or punching this once. AM six fifty. Back taxes. Call one. Turn the radio off. Right back on. Takes you right back to FM stereo. FM eighty nine dot five. Cause you might be looking for something specific. The ball game might be on or something. You might want to, that way you can actually find out which way you're going by using the voice ID. Listener supported public radio. For I like these cause they got the little dimmer switches in them. We got that back. So you dim your light. Uh, you hook your light to your dash light. So it comes on with your dash lights. And then of course, if you're at night, you want to turn it down, you can run it up or down either one, but it will dim with your dash lights too. Uh, I put the wire, most of these, sometimes the light comes on with the radio, but the, these bulbs, you've got to tear this whole radio down and change a bulb in it. And so I run it to the dash lights, because a lot of these uh, classic cars, they don't see night very much. So there ain't no need to that bulb running. I'll let you listen a little of it. Welcome to the local brew hour. Now you have balance and fader built in your toner. So we got one here. We really ain't got to worry about balance much, but you might want to fade it. You might want to put your set of rear speakers in. So we'll go into the fader and balance. And uh, it's easy to do now because we got them set up on push buttons. It's a compilation put together by National Artist Why don't bass. 
to support his fellow musicians during this downturn. So it don't really matter where this is set and you can, uh, from wide really travel, cool go about halfway. I let's leave it there so we can hear the highs. Last month and let's go into Fader by pushing this once and holding it down. Were giving once, all sales down. Fader, adjust. Anthony, in turn, gave right. some money to Music There's Cares for their COVID-19 response fund. There's your rear really speaker. I'm really glad I grabbed it that day so that I can play some of these songs for you. So we can fade back and forth. As long as you're moving this, it will stay in that mode. Anthony DaCosta, who put this project together, is a much sought-after side man in Nashville. Stop, in fact, it. I played a song from him that he... Fader set. On the local now you're back on Trouble and Bass. Because Joy Williams suggested... Now, if you want to go into Fader, you punch this twice and hold it. Front porch. And that'll Which put you in the balance. But you since you're so close here, you really, I really wouldn't worry about balance that much. But it'll do the same thing, balance and fade. You got four right channels now, running. The tune that he contributed to Nashville Unreleased Volume 1, Transmissions from Isolation Row. Here's Judgment Day on the Local Brew. Got a good sound to it. Now, we won't put this thing in a scanning mode. Going down the road, let it find your station. You can do it by turning your needle up twice and it'll go in scan mode, or you can do it with a push button. You can hold, push it four times. Let's go into scanning. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. Now, it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to lock on a station in case you want to actually do a preset and save it. I have also seen outbreaks. A trade group for the region's plants told the Baltimore Sun the plants would have to destroy nearly two million chickens because of staffing. So you like that station there? There's two ways of doing it. You turn this up one click or press this three times. One. This FM 91.7. That Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and hath shed his own blood. All right, hold the station. One, two, three. Station hold. It'll hold it. And then right after she says that, if you want to find it, all you got to do is start moving and it'll go quiet till you find that station. Democratic presidential hold. Yeah, I could be mistaken. FM 89.9. That's how your scanning stations work. Voice ID. We can also do it this way too. Scanning for stations. Donald Trump. In a video released today, Pelosi says Biden would be, quote, a voice of reason and resilience <laughs> in the ongoing coronavirus. Like that station there? Station hold. She'll hold it for you. Adjust. Fader set. All right. Get a little bit more out of this speaker. I like him. Now we're going to do auxiliary in. All you do is pull out your mail to mail cord. I don't. You might have something you want to play. It's on your iPod. Bring it up. All you do is push play. device you can do anything you want to it ain't gonna do nothing but you won't go back to radio just turn that device off and if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds it'll automatically switch back if you want to go quicker just turn it off and back on during that 20 seconds we're gonna let it automatically change over because we're checking it out getting you ready to ship so we 
switch back over. That's how your auxiliary end works. You plug anything into them you want to. Uh, now we're gonna run our Bluetooth in. We're gonna, we're gonna do the initial pair up. You'll do it on yours too. And it will take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So if you're the one primary driver or want to listen to everything, he or she, that's the one you want to do first. All you do is bring your phone up, make sure you're on Bluetooth. Hold this button down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we got this tap on it. She'll tell you when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right. Now we want to do a little test. We're going to turn it off. And when we turn it back on, we're going to make sure she finds the phone. That way it, you shouldn't have to pair it but once unless you have trouble with your phone or you buy a new phone. I have trouble with mine every now and then. It don't recognize a redneck, but that's part of it. Turn it on. Bluetooth connected. That's what we want to do. Now we want to do a voice command. You can hold this button down again and bring your phone up. You got Siri set up on your phone and tell it what to do. Look up road maps, look up restaurants, call home, play music, whatever you want. You can do it by holding this down or you can turn the volume up twice. Let's do a voice command. Play music. Want the music on my phone. Now if we want an advanced song here. Press it once to advance. Or turn the needle up once. Happy. Or you can actually repeat by turning it back. Now, whatever the phone is doing or the radio is doing, the Bluetooth will override anything. Phone call comes in. She's going to come in, she's going to break in and say, incoming call. All you do is turn your needle up once to answer the call, or press this once. Do your talking. See, this is your mic up here. I don't, I've got where I don't put a built-in mic in these. It's too hard. This is a mic you can put wherever you want to. Comes with the radio. So a uh, phone call comes in, you just turn this up once to answer the call or press this once. Do your talking when you're done. You can let the phone hang up on its own. It'll go back doing whatever you had the radio doing. Or you can press this twice if you want to end the call and get out of it or turn this down one lick. Now we're going to do a voice command using the button. We're going to go back to radio. Hold it down. Stop music. Put it in pause, right back to radio. Well, that God chose to save you? That he ch That's how you Bluetooth stream your music, everything works. He it's, went to it's designed so you don't have that phone in your hand or on you while you're driving. You can operate it all from right here. Now we're gonna do the USB. Uh, you're gonna get some music on here. You can take off that redneck garbage out, put it on there and put over what, what you want on it. As soon as you can hide these, as soon as you plug it in, it's going to go straight to it. Same way operating your music on your phone as you do on this. You want to advance, up, back, advance, back or repeat. Now I said you can hide this in the glove box, nobody needs to see it, the only time you gotta take it out if you wanna charge the phone or put another thumb drive in. You wanna go to pause, go back to radio. You can turn this down twice. We went up for Bluetooth, let's go down for USB. One, two, put it in pause, cycle back around to radio. If you turn it down again, you'll go back to your USB, or you can press this button and hold it one second. Back to USB. Depends on how long it's down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. Let's 
go back to radio one second back to pause back to radio so you got multiple ways of working everything you push buttons there's a little there's a little flapper on there you pull down and pull this push button up and that rod will come out so you can actually unscrew it find your station press it in let it come out screw it tighten it up push it back in push the button down to set your presets a lot of people don't know that that's your original Chevrolet radio 46 to 48 custom cut we had to build a back and everything for it fully loaded ready to go I appreciate you letting me do it for you thank you